what's going on everybody? So today on Warhammer Community, there's a new article about the new game Warhammer The Old World, which I find quite exciting because I was a really big fan of the old Warhammer Fantasy game before uh, before they changed it. I just really liked the lore and the setting, and it kind of had one foot in realism and one foot in kind of high fantasy, so to speak, but... So it sounds like they are bringing it back as more of like a, a specialist game like Horus Heresy. So I think this is a really good and exciting thing for uh, old time fans of the fantasy game. So And now that I think that they're getting better sales from Age of Sigmar, I think they can just support this. And it doesn't even have to be like their main thing. So it could be more just for the hardcore fans. So. In this article, they're talking about maps, and they're answering some questions like, "Is the game going to be on round or square bases?" So it sounds like it's going to it's going to still be on square bases, just like it used to be. It's going to be the same scale as it used to be, and it sounds like the rules are going to be just like Eighth Edition, with uh, some tweaks and modifications. So it sounds like this is going to be a very true to form uh, rule set just like Warhammer Fantasy fans remember. So it doesn't sound like they're going to be simplifying anything for new players. It sounds like you're going to get the hardcore, you know, measure measure the amount of distance a unit can turn and then get a protractor and then measure the, the amount of turn and then move and then get another protractor and then turn and move. So hardcore regiment Napoleon style tactics. So... I think this is exciting, and it sounds like they're uh, they're not all the units are going to have the original names. So orcs are going to be orcs; they're not going to be oryx. No elves or dwarden. So it's orcs, dwarves, elves, just like you remember. And it sounds like this is set before the end times, so it's going to be. I think it's going to be just an evergreen setting of uh, Warhammer Fantasy just like you remember it. And you can use all your old armies and it's going to be it's going to be like it used to be for the people that want it. And I mean, I really like Warhammer Fantasy, although I do realize that it is a bit more involved than I think even 40k or Age of Sigmar just because you have to make regiments of about of about 20 or more infantry and they're all just packed together and so you're often painting the same thing over and over and over again with far more redundancy than 40k or age of sigmar and that's just one regiment and then often army will have like three or four so painting like a hundred a hundred guys it could be a little a little tedious but it it does have its own charm and appeal which I like and you know there's the just the way you move and it's very kind of little a little clunky and you really have to think about angles and positioning and how a unit is positioned and flanks and regiments and all kinds of stuff like that so it's a bit more involved so I can see why it's not their main game they're touting just because it's not as accessible, but as a specialist kind of niche game within the company, I think it makes sense for the more hardcore fans. So this is exciting, and I thought I'd share. Uh, feel free to leave comments and let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.